Good evening, everyone. I pay respect to the traditional owners of this place, the Palawa people, and I, I acknowledge them as the original custodians of this beautiful island, Lutruwita, Tasmania. And congratulations to Tasmania and to all Tasmanians for once again conducting an election where every eligible Tasmanian has been able to cast a vote free of violence and free of threats of physical intimidation. Take a look around the world today. That is a rare and precious gift. And we should take time to celebrate and give thanks for our democracy, even if we did just elect a Liberal government. <laughs> a, few a few moments ago, I called Will Hodgman to congratulate him on becoming Premier of Tasmania. I acknowledge to Will, I acknowledge to Will that he and his party ran an extremely strong and disciplined campaign, and I genuinely wished him all the very best for the future in his role as Premier of Tasmania. Tasmania today has clearly voted for change, and to all of the Liberal supporters here, and all Liberal supporters right round Tasmania, I congratulate you and your party. The last four years have written a crucial chapter in Australian political history. Our country's first Green Ministers, and certainly not the last. For the last three years, for the last three years, Greens Ministers have managed nearly half of the Tasmanian state budget. We've made significant reforms, and by any measure, every one of our portfolios is in significantly better shape than when we took it on. We rolled up our sleeves, and we were part of making some difficult decisions that all governments need to make from time to time. And the last four years have proven that the Greens can deliver stable, and effective government. We've reformed the prison system. We've reformed the education system, the disability support system. We've delivered the strongest government response to climate change in the country. And I want to warmly acknowledge the hard work of so many people to achieve those positive outcomes for Tasmania and its people, particularly the community sector and, most importantly, the public sector here in Tasmania. Thank you for your support and your hard work. In the last two years, in the last two years we've seen Tasmania's NAPLAN results improve in every single measure faster than the rest of the country, and we are coming for Australia in education. We've seen public housing rates, public housing waiting lists at their lowest level for a decade under a Greens minister. We've seen a correction system based on human rights and a focus on rehabilitation that will make our community a safer place for all Tasmanians. And our work in the parliament which kick-started the energy reform process, which now sees electricity prices coming down, unlike anywhere else in the country. We are proud of our legacy in the parliament, and we are proud of our legacy in the government. And importantly, we were a part of holding the political space open for the forest negotiations. Long, complex, challenging, difficult negotiations that took on an issue which had been left in the too hard basket for far too long. And they were difficult negotiations, but you know what? It showed what is possible when people work 
together. They were historic, historic negotiations. And we've seen from those negotiations an extension to our World Heritage Area of 170,000 hectares and legislated protection for over 500,000 hectares of high conservation value forests that tens of thousands of Tasmanians campaigned for decades to protect. It was truly a historic achievement. For the first time, for the first time in 25 years, the forestry wars have stopped. For the first time, there have been no summer protests in our forests. And conservationists and loggers agree that a cooperative future is achievable if we respect each other and if we hold the peace. And I say tonight to Will Hodgman, don't take us back to war. Protect those forests and protect our people and our economy from another four years of bitter conflict. In 1972, Tasmania saw the formation of the United Tasmania Group, the first political party in the world based on what came to be known as Green Principles, and a party that effectively gave birth to the Tasmanian Greens. And one of the founders of that party, Dr Richard Jones, outlined a vision for Tasmania, a vision for a prosperous Tasmania that was based on the things that make Tasmania unique and special in the whole world. And you know what? That prosperity, those jobs, that unity, that prosperity based on our global uniqueness is coming true right before our very eyes. We've seen seven consecutive months of unemployment coming down, of business confidence going up, of jobs growth in tourism, in agriculture, in aquaculture, in ICT, in the creative sector and in the knowledge economy. I'm here to tell you, Tasmania truly is on the cusp of something absolutely remarkable and it is because of our place and because of our people. That course, that course is now irreversible and no government will be able to hold back that tide of change because the future in Tasmania will be created not by governments, but it will be created by you, the Tasmanian people. This is already the best place in Australia to live. The spirit of this place, this beautiful place, nurtures us all. And if we protect this place, if we promote this place, prosperity will inevitably follow for Tasmanians. And that is part of the task, a large part of the task for the new government, to protect and promote what makes us special, to govern fairly for all Tasmanians and to provide jobs and prosperity without destroying those natural advantages that those jobs rely on and that future jobs rely on, to build without destroying and to transform without trashing what has already begun. Every day, every political leader should ask themselves, what am I doing to protect our beautiful island? Does what I am doing make Tasmania a better place for its people? And does it build on what is so special about Tasmania? And if they don't ask themselves those questions, I can assure you the Greens will ask those questions of them. A short time ago, I also spoke to Lara Giddings. 
And to Lara, I say thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for Tasmania, your hard work and your commitment to this state. And especially for Lara, congratulations on being Tasmania's first female Premier. That is an outstanding <laughs> achievement. The next few years will be a difficult time for those of us on the progressive side of politics. But I say to people who are progressive Tasmanians, do not despair, do not lose hope and do not lose heart. Your state and your country will need you to stay strong and will need you to stay true. Even though we face a wall of Conservative governments around the country, our time will come again. Even though our wild places are under threat, even though vulnerable people will lose services, we will all together stand up for them. And we must stand up for them if we believe in the potential of every Tasmanian. We will go again on marriage equality. We will go again on voluntary euthanasia and the progressive reforms that are so necessary for a fair go for all Tasmanians. But it will be a busy time. It'll be a busy time for all progressive people. And we'll need to listen, and we will. We'll need to learn, and we will. And we'll have to work hard, and we'll have to work smart, and we'll have to work together, and we will. To people who voted Green today, thank you for your support. On your behalf, we will fight every day with all of our heart for Tasmania's wild places, our forests, our coastlines, our clean air, our clean water, the very things that sustain us as human beings every single day. And we will fight, we will fight every day with all of our hearts for Tasmanians who are vulnerable, who are disadvantaged or who are marginalised, we will not let them down. To the hundreds of people, the many hundreds of people who gave up your time to help the Greens on our campaign because you believed in us, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. You are amazing people and we could not achieve what we have without you. Thank you all. <laughs> to all of our staff in the party and to all of the staff in all of our MPs' offices, thank you all for your outstanding work. And to my party room colleagues, thank you all for your hard work, your dedication and your support. Now there's no doubt that particularly in Braddon, we are in the fight of our life to hold that seat. But Basil, you have done us proud, mate. You are one of the best blokes. You're one of the best blokes I've ever met. And if you don't get up, the Parliament of Tasmania will be the loser and the Tarkine will have lost one of its greatest parliamentary champions. Go well, Basil. Now, there's no doubt that there has been a significant swing against the Greens today. And welcome to all our Liberal friends. Better late than never. There is no doubt there's been a significant swing against us today and as leader, I take all responsibility for that. I gave the last four years 
everything I had, absolutely everything. And I respect the verdict of the Tasmanian people that that was not enough. No doubt, I have more to learn. And I commit to you all that I will learn. And I commit to you all that I will keep giving everything I have in any role that I have for the rest of my life to this amazing state of Tasmania and its amazing people. Tonight, before I came here, I asked myself a question. What is the real role of politics? What is the real role of politicians? And for me, the answer is clear. To protect this place, Tasmania, that sustains us all, and to empower every single Tasmanian to reach their full potential. And I commit myself to doing just that. While we have a Liberal government in Canberra and a Liberal government here in Tasmania, the Greens will be there to hold those governments to account. We will be there to hold those governments to account. We will be there to fight for Tasmania's wild places. We will be there, we will be there to promote a clean, green, clever, creative and prosperous future for Tasmania. And we will be there to empower Tasmanians to fulfil their own dreams for, their self, for themselves. And to our supporters, to our supporters, I say this to you. The Greens are here to stay. We will stand strong for Tasmania. We will stand strong for its future. We are facing difficult times and a hard right political agenda. And it is more important than ever that we have a strong Green voice in our parliament. And we will have, and we will have. Gee, I love democracies, aren't they fantastic? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, you'll soon hear from your new Premier. And, and, I, and I want to say one last thing to you all. Yes, yes, it has been a tough night for the Greens, but let me tell you, We've been in tougher places before and we've come right back from them and look out, in 2018, the Greens will be back bigger and better 